So ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is Little Man. Today we have a brand new zombie storyline video. This one is going to be about the giant's recently solved cipher, leaving us now with two unsolved ciphers rather than three. And it actually looks like these were actually sort of double in cipher. They were thrown through different encoders twice, and that's actually what makes it so hard to actually sort of decipher these, because we have to decipher it once and then hop on over to another sort of machine, and then decipher that message as well. And it's sort of hard to pinpoint exactly which two were actually used and that's why they're taking so long to actually solve and may actually never even be solved at all. And it's clear that these three ciphers have some link together or they are sort of higher class than the rest of the ciphers because it, like the information that was actually entailed in this cipher is big. Especially for sort of fans of the storyline since I'm saying like Black Ops 1 or even World at War or just generally anybody that's sort of really consumed by the storyline. So the cipher we're going to talk about today was actually decoded by Moon on Reddit, I believe he sort of solved this first, and a big congratulations to going out to him. I think though this was the easier out of the three, so hopefully he can start getting cracking on the other two with maybe a help of more people out of the community or whatever. I actually spent hours and hours trying to actually decode this cipher, and it is of course the brick cipher from the map of the giant. It's sort of the NM3, and it has like a plus and stuff in there as well. It's going to be on screen, and when actually decoded we get the following message. When finished, we will return to the house and the infinite. That is pretty much it. Nothing more, nothing less. No dots, no commas, no forward slashes, no symbolism like that. Just sort of a sentence that could very well have a beginning that we have to solve and possibly even an end that we have to solve as well. Which is why I'm having a feeling to actually group these three unsolved ciphers together and maybe they actually form a whole little paragraph when each and every one of them is actually decoded. So I'm going to give you the raw confidential information without any really theories until the end as always. I'm not going to sort of shout out DLC4 things because honestly I really don't think that's the case. Luckily though this goes in hand in hand with a theory that I've actually had for a while and I'm going to sort of summarize that and go over it right now really quick with you guys but I would really appreciate if you do support this series definitely do smash that like button it really does help me out subscribe if you're new for more zombie storyline videos and in two and a half minutes let's get right into this video so when finished we will return to the house and the infinite what does it mean basically at the end of the map of origins DLC 4 all the way back in black ops 2 we saw a lot of things from the very first time, being the Panzer Soldat, and of course, our Origins characters. And after the massive Easter egg hunt came to an end, we were gifted with a cutscene. A cutscene that really didn't make sense, and we were expecting some indication of the end of a storyline, but unfortunately we got something far more ununderstandable than a average cliffhanger. Everything in this cutscene defied what we knew and what we thought we would know. The Origins cutscene gave us a look inside the room of a Samantha with a brother by the name of Eddie and we got sort of obviously not a view of Maxis's actual body we actually never see him in a physical form it's always in radios or pictures or something like that and the funny thing about this cutscene was that Samantha and her brother Eddie were actually like playing zombies and that led a lot of people to believe that all along zombies was a game as in this story was an actual game but a lot of the popular zombie theorists didn't take this for an answer they were like great definitely this is alternate timelines definitely we know what's gonna happen in Black Ops 3 we're gonna get a continuation of the storyline with like, more knowledge of these alternate timelines and etc etc come Black Ops 3 we know all about these alternate timelines so those of you that are new to the story, that's a bit of a catch-up session for you guys. Now it doesn't end there, we get a lot of sort of indications and relations between this Origins cutscenes and a lot of easter eggs and radios in the map of the giant and I believe in Zetsubu Nishima as well. We hear Maxis talking, talking about his daughter Samantha being gone and then she was returned to me and all of this stuff. And it sounds like they actually contradict each other and they're really hard for people to understand unless you sort of go by this theory which I'm going to sort of present to you guys now. The timeline in which we've seen in the Origins cutscene is the one that we are trying to work towards and to protect. Meaning we're travelling around through time and space onto all of these different timelines and preventing sort of the timeline convergences by correcting those individual timelines and if we do so the timeline that was sort of displayed in that Origins cutscene 
remains untouched. So when you hear Samantha sort of being exited and then being returned to Maxis, it's because we are continuously changing that timeline. So us blowing up the moon in this timeline is definitely going to have an effect on the sort of origins cutscene timeline if you want to call it as they aren't going to get the convergence of all the things that happened on Moon and all the sort of the after effects of Samantha then going back to Agartha and all that sort of weird crazy stuff that happens on the main timeline that we're familiar with. All of that is affecting the Origins cutscene timeline. And I recall that this video was about a cipher and the message that it sort of entails. When finished, we will return to the house and the infinite. So when I say that they actually want to fix this timeline, then they want to travel to that timeline and live on that timeline in peace and in harmony without any sort of convergences once it is all fixed. So when finished, when obviously our four characters are finished their mission, they aim to head on into this timeline in which they worked to actually correct and the infinite would symbolize that they want to sort of live out the rest of their days on that timeline without any interference from any of the other ones. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comment section below. I didn't really sort of cover this as sort of soon as I should have. I just wanted to hear what other zombie YouTubers thought and then sort of give you my opinion on things as well. And if you're still here, chances are you actually love my voice and you want to put up with me more and more. So definitely do hit that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me if you did. If you're a fan of the zombie storyline, I want to know what actually will probably happen in DLC 4, definitely check out my Who Are Premise Explain video, really good theories in there as well. Any theories that you have, let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, I hope you all did enjoy. Once again, peace out, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in another video very, very soon.